All right, first you're gonna to wanna to open up a new composition. It doesn't matter the size. And then you're gonna go to solid, doesn't matter what color. And then you're gonna put your element effect on it. We're gonna to go to scene setup. And then you're gonna to go to your starter pack and you're gonna look for a ball fracture. And uh, you can put whatever preset you want. I use, I, for the video I used, I use the uh, wet lizard. It's a pro shader. So if you got pro shaders, that's the one I use for the video. And um, we're gonna make a new solid. Change the color. This is gonna be the brag, the, the background. Just to have it set. And uh, make another one. And uh, make this one a little bit darker. A darker green to match the wet lizard color. And then I'm gonna put a ellipse tool, and I'm gonna feather that out. You gotta press F to feather, feather the mask, and that gives you this little vignette effect. Pretty simple. Move that around, and now I am going to go into Element real quick. And I keep forgetting where this is at, but it's under your group one settings. I'm, as you can see, I'm looking for it. It's under particle look and it's called multi-object and you're gonna wanna enable that. And uh, in order for the pieces in the ball fracture to be shown, you gotta displace, you gotta enable them, the multi-object and then you gotta displace that. <laughs> so, we're gonna Click the little stopwatch so we can have some keyframes. And we're gonna start at zero and move up a couple seconds and then you're just gonna displace it as much as you think looks good. So then we script through it, as you can see. Pretty simple. And now we're gonna create a camera. I it doesn't really matter what you put, I just usually keep it at fifty. You can change it up. You can also put a uh, depth of field on it but for the purpose of this video we're just gonna do it real quick and I usually just keyframe everything just in case because usually something messes up on my camera and um, we're gonna scrub through it again to where I want it to have the camera orbit through the the fractured pieces so right now I'm just looking for the right spot to where I want the camera to move to and for some reason it wasn't letting me click again to change it so that I change the orbital move it around a little bit and then I want to go into the Z, Z depth so let me move it a little bit in uh, that seems good right there so you can see the camera kinda goes into the object and you can see it kinda at the end it doesn't really do a good job but we're just doing a really quick video to show you how easy this effect is and now we're gonna do a new solid we're gonna put a lens flare just to give it that you know that pop and usually I try to look for a lens flare that is already the same color as everything else so the main color here is green so I'm looking for a green lens flare so let me go to motion graphics and let me get this green goblin that seems good you know set it to add and then just move it around make it look somewhat decent and now I'm going to do a adjustment layer a color correction and a curves just to give it a little bit more darkness
and that's basically it guys I mean that's just the basics of it you can you can do a little bit more fine-tuning like I said you can add a depth of field to make it so you can make some of the pieces look closer some of them in the background look more blurry it's really up to you also move the camera track the camera so you can zoom in on certain pieces that's just a little preview right there a little quick render and uh, I'm gonna keep rendering out while I talk so you can like I said you can enable depth of field to make certain things look more blurry in the background or up in the foreground uh, you also want to experiment with the camera positioning and um, how deep it goes into Z space and whatever orbit around the object if you want to and this this effect I mean you can use whatever shader you want um, I would probably use the ice like an ice color I know there's some pro shaders in there that are icicle ice or whatever frost you know but for some reason I use the um, what lizard but anyways guys thanks for watching and that was just a quick little video of how I did this effect hopefully y'all can do it it's pretty easy I mean nothing to it as y'all saw uh, thanks for watching peace